Hi, I'm Kyle Schilling with Music City Trikes, the Middle Tennessee chapter of National Ambux. Today we'll be demonstrating how to assemble a 1020. First we'll show you the tools that are required to build the 1020. You need two screwdrivers, a Phillips and a flat, an adjustable or 22 millimeter wrench, and then a set of 15, 13, 10, and 8 millimeter wrenches. And then lastly, a five millimeter hex wrench, or if you choose a ratcheting five millimeter wrench. Here are all the parts and miscellaneous pieces that come with the trike once you have it unwrapped. So we have frame pins in the upper left. The foot platform has two bolts, two washers. There are two sections of basket hardware. And the seat belt in the bottom left has a bunch of hardware with the belt. On the right side, we have the cable wrap, which will tie the two cables together, two wheel caps, and then a set of reflector parts. The trike may also come with a group of extra parts. These may be in the bags with the parts that we will use. Just to note, these may be miscellaneous or unnecessary parts as you build it. All right, we'll talk through the parts that come with the Amtrak. We've got our seat here, which is the rest, backrest and the padded seat. Next to that is the fork, which has the front wheel, crank arms, and will come with the brake and speed adjuster already assembled. Next to that, we have our two hand cranks. We have two wheels, and the fork will assemble into the main frame. We have our foot platform here, which will fit underneath here. And then in the back, we've got a basket, and the basket support here, and lastly, the flag. So for the first step, we're gonna assemble the two wheels to the back main frame. The bike may come with the wheel caps already assembled. If they do, you can try and pull them off. If you can't do that, then we have a step later we can show that. But you'll first take that off, unscrew the nut, take the washer off, you'll put the wheel on, put the washer, and then the nut. And then you'll use the adjustable wrench or the 22 millimeter wrench and tighten that down until it just starts touching the washer and then go a little bit more. When you wobble the wheel, you should not be able to feel it wobble, but it also should not be too tight that you're pressing on the bearing. You'll do that on both sides. Okay, if your trike comes with the wheel cap on top of the nut like so, and you can't pull it off like I just did because maybe it's too tight, what you can do is use a flathead screwdriver and use it like this and pry it up against it. Make sure you go on multiple sides and it should eventually just pop off like that. So when tightening the wheels, you want to tighten it enough that you don't hear this. When you wiggle the wheel back and forth, so I'll tighten it a little bit. Still a tiny bit there. And now there's none. Last step, put the caps on the nut and you can either hit it with your hand a little bit or I'll just take something metal and tap it on. All right, we're gonna put the fork into the main frame now. You'll need the frame pin and ratcheting uh, bolt. So the pin is gonna go at a diagonal into that hole and the bolt will go from the bottom turning clockwise. You may need a mallet to pound a couple things in. So we'll set it up. Bring it together. If it doesn't go all the way, you can turn the wheel, give it a little tap in. Put the pin in here, same thing. And then put this in the bottom here and tighten it up till it's done. Next step, we'll put the foot platform onto the frame. It's gonna go underneath like so. And there are identical five bolt holes on the bottom side. So you have three positions, the front, middle, or back. Uh, for this child, we're going to put it in the front. And for it, we're gonna use five millimeter wrench or ratcheting. There'll be two bolts with a washer, so we're gonna grab one of those. Those bolts will go in the front and back holes. And to help you with that, I like to loosen these platform pedals and tighten all the way down so that you have as much access as possible to the front and back. You may have to move them around to get best access, but I'm gonna put it up in here, hand start the bolt, and then tighten it up with my wrench. All right, now we're gonna put the seat onto the main frame. 
It will come with four bolts in the four corners here. I've removed three of them. The last one, you'll use a 13 millimeter wrench and a five millimeter hex wrench, like so. Loosen it up. And I'll drop it down. Now when you put the seat back on, this washer has to be between the red frame and the seat itself, otherwise the seat will not slide. So when you assemble the seat onto here, you need to have it sitting on all four washers like so. So to assemble the seat, you'll wanna start with the back two bolts back here. That's easiest to put in first so it'll counterbalance the weight. So in order to get those two bolts in there, you've gotta take this seat and the back side is where the frame is looped up and has a hole in it. So I'll flip it upside down and you can push the bracket all the way down. This side you'll have to use the lever, turn it all the way and it probably won't lock in so you've gotta pull it back just a little bit till it locks in. To help you put the seat on and prevent the trike from rolling, you may wanna go ahead and set the brake for the front wheel so you can do that by squeezing it. You might have to squeeze pretty hard, put that in. It will lock the front wheel and now the bike will stay where you want it. Now we're gonna tighten up the back. So I've got my two washers on the frame. I'll carefully set the seat onto it. I'll take one of the bolts, put it down through, then a washer and a nut on the bottom side. I'll take those same 13 millimeter wrench and five millimeter hex and tighten that up. Do it to both sides. Don't tighten it all the way, tighten it close, but you don't wanna tighten it all the way because we've gotta get the front two bolts in before it's tightened all the way down. All right, I've got the back two bolts in, not tightened all the way down, but pretty far. Now I need to put the front two in. So I'm gonna grab the lever here, lift up, and then wiggle, pull the seat back. I'll take my two large washers, set them underneath, just like we did in the back. And then I'm gonna do the same process and put a bolt in from the top side. Take the small washer and nut from the bottom and tighten both those up. These two you can tighten all the way. Okay, I've tightened the front two bolts. Now I need to finish up tightening the back. So I'm gonna lift the lever again, slide the seat forward, and then final tighten these back two bolts. All right, we're gonna assemble the seat back now. So in order to put that on, you wanna make sure the handle is toward the back. It's gonna slip right into the seat, padded seat. Shirt's firmly in, there'll be a flap, and you tuck that underneath the pad, and you'll feel that there's a loop for the hook of the Velcro from the seat back. Do your best to get it tight. And it's installed there. Next, we'll assemble the seat belt. For that, you're gonna need the belt, all the hardware that we went over from the seat belt, which is two bolts, two large washers, two small washers, and two nuts. You'll use one set for each side. So pick up the seat belt here and we're going to make it a right-handed insertion. You'll have two holes that you can choose. We're gonna do the closer one first. That's gonna fit into the hole that's like so. You'll take one of those bolts and the large washer from the outside through the seat belt, through that hole You might have to pull up on the seat back just a little bit to get it in. Now I take the washer and nut from the inside. Washer first, nut, hand start it. And then I'll use the 13 millimeter wrench and five millimeter hex wrench to tighten that down. And you repeat that on both sides. All right, first step of the basket is we're gonna put the basket support on the bottom of the basket. And for that, you wanna make sure that the bracket with the two holes is facing towards the bike in the end. So the easiest way I found to do this, cause it can be kind of squirrely, is to hold it like so. If you got a table, it can kind of help. But you'll take one bracket, hold it here. You're gonna take one set of the small black bolts with the Phillips head and washer. You'll insert the 
bolt from the inside and then take a washer and just barely hand tighten that. And keep your bracket there. Now you can take another bolt and send it through. Take a second nut and get that hand tight. And then we'll tighten it down with an eight millimeter wrench on this side and a Phillips screwdriver on the other. Repeat the process for the other bracket over here. Next, we're gonna put the basket onto the bike itself. So you're gonna use the two small silver uh, bolts, two washers and two nuts. We'll use the five millimeter Allen wrench and the 10 millimeter wrench for the bolt and nut. You're gonna take the basket, set it up like so, and the support bar will be on the outside. You put a bolt from the outside into the frame itself and put a washer on the inside and the nut. Stir it by finger and then use the wrench and the Allen wrench to tighten it. All right, last step on the basket. So you got a couple of these bracket or clamps that are gonna go onto the back bar and then we'll use a bolt to go through the basket and tie into that. Now these are really tough to uh, get squeezed together sometimes. So you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench for the nut, but you might uh, use a pair of pliers to squeeze that together um, if you have a partner who can help you. So I'm gonna take this clamp, snap it on, should go on fairly easy. Then I'm gonna take this bolt and you'll see that there's a, it's, called, it's a lag bolt. So there's a square section underneath that should fit right into that groove. And I'll have my washer and nut handy. I'm gonna pull it up here. It's gonna go through both sides of the clamp. And this is the part that's tricky. The other side of the clamp doesn't want to tighten very easily. So it can be tricky with one person to squeeze it and get this nut started. So that's where if you've got a partner who can help start it or can squeeze that clamp for you, like so, then I can really start it. And then you'll just take your wrench and tighten that nut up along there. All right, next we're gonna put the crank handles or hand cranks on. And if you look on the bolt end, there will actually be an R or an L for which side to put them on. And it's as the rider goes. So the right will go on the side that I'm on and you will turn that clockwise or to the right. So start it with your fingers first. It should go in very easily. If it's not, stop and try again. And you'll take a 15 millimeter wrench, put it on and go all the way around until it's tight. On the left side here, you're going to turn to the left. So I'm gonna start with my fingers again. It should go very easily and it's in now. I can tell because how easily it's going. Take your wrench and go to the left until it's snug. And next we're gonna put this uh, brake and shifter on and we're gonna put it on the side of the rider. Um, it's built for the right side. If it's gotta go on the left side, you can try to kind of adapt it and kind of move things around, but it's made for right, so if possible, put it there. It's gonna go right on this tube, but you'll notice that there's a Phillips screw in the way. So what we're gonna first do is remove that Phillips screw. So, and that will allow us to bend up the little piece of frame that's inside that. And you'll notice there's a cutout here. So in order to get it on, I've got to loosen this up so that the bolt's not inside the, this tube. Put it on here, get it as far as I can. You can try and bend that seat back. And now I'm gonna tighten this ratcheting bolt like so until it's snug. And you do have a little bit of adjustment on uh, angle if you choose, but that's how you assemble that. Next, we'll do the cables. All 
So we're gonna talk about cable management next. What you can see is I've wrapped the two cables on both sides of the frame. I put a zip tie on the front and back of this little kind of plate here with the five bolt holes. Uh, and you can use those wire ties that came with the trike or you can use just a plain old wire tie. Um, what you'll end up with if you do it here, and I don't have it tight yet so I can still move these around, get it adjusted, but you wanna kind of fit the rider to where their legs are gonna bend over this. And in the uh, state that it comes on the trike, it may be sticking out too far here. It depends on, again on the rider and their position. So you can use a five millimeter Allen wrench and loosen both of these things like I've done here and they're, they're loose now. So they'll uh, rotate around to positions that might be better, but again, you, you're gonna have to adjust it with the rider because that's gonna have to be their hand position as well. So if it gets too far down, it may not be feasible to grab the brake. So kind of tighten those up where you want to, get the uh, cables exactly where you want, tighten them. And then the last thing I'll mention is that in the very front, if you find out this is sticking too far out, one thing you can do is there's a hole right in the middle you can take a third uh, zip tie here, and like so, and you can tighten it down here to really pull those cables in a little bit tighter. Once all the cables are put on here, you've got zip ties, then you can go ahead and use that cable wrap that comes with the trike. And here I've wrapped it from right after the spring here, all the way down, and you'll probably end up with excess depending on how your cables are run. So if that's the case, just take some scissors and cut it off at the appropriate length. All right, for the reflectors, we'll do the rear, which is the red reflector. On the back, you'll see there's one hole and one plug. There are two positions here, so I'm gonna take those and line it up, and then take one of the Phillips screws and take a Phillips screwdriver and tighten it up, like so. Front reflector is the white or clear. It's gonna to have to go on the bracket, so same thing. There's one hole. This one I'm gonna put on the top. Put the screw in place, use a Phillips screwdriver, get it nice and snug. Next, you'll have to loosen the bolt on the loop side until that comes free. Probably want to just remove the bolt. Then you'll snap it around like so and put the bolt back in and tighten it up. We're gonna do the wheel reflector now. All three are identical. The one piece of advice is to not put it on top of the tire valve because you won't be able to air up your tire then. So I like to do it as far apart, far as away as you can from that. And there's a groove in it that you're gonna line up with a spoke like so. Take this piece and this kind is just a push in. Push hard, snaps in place and you're good. Last step is put the safety flag on. You'll see it comes in two parts, but because this is an upright seat and so high, we recommend just using the upper part of the flag. It will go into the right side of the seat back like so. There should be a hole on the plug. If for some reason this doesn't fit in, you can take an Allen wrench, like so, probably a four millimeter, put it in and wallow out the hole enough where you can then get the flag to push in. And you'll notice that it barely goes in. That's because there's a screw right here blocking its way, so if you kick it to the side a little bit, should be able to push it down farther. And there is the 1020. Before a rider or yourself takes the first test drive, you wanna make sure that you air up the tires because they will come flat out of the box most likely. And you wanna make sure you air those up before you put any weight on the trike. So two quick things to check on a safety check of the 1020. Both here on this lever, you're gonna have the brake and you're gonna have the shifter. The easy one is the brake. You can roll it along and just double check that it does brake and that one feels pretty good. You should also be able, because the only parking brake is to squeeze this all the way and put the pin in, you should be able to do that and not let the trike move. The second part, if you let go, is the shifter. So this is used with the thumb or the finger, the, four, the uh, index finger. Uh, and for this, you're probably gonna have to push it along or have somebody actually ride it and then shift it to the positions and make sure that it does actually go into the positions.